What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people, welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen, and today I am bringing back an unboxing for you from Lit Crates. Ooh, yeah. Now, today is both a happy and a sad day. I'm excited and I'm sad. Excited? Excited? Sadited? Sadited? Those two emotions just don't merge. So I'm wondering why am I sad and happy? I'm happy. I'm excited because Click Crates has arrived. Click Crates has arrived. But I'm also sad because this is the last ever box that click crates are going to ship now they've closed their doors for their subscription boxes one bit of good news if you really really love click crates they have said that they're going to do one-off boxes still occasionally on a sister site of theirs uh, I believe it was freakingawesome.com or something like that it's called so if you do look up click crates you'll find all the details for that but it's still sad because it was one of the best UK subscription boxes going. And for those of you who didn't know who Click Crates were, I'm sorry, they're no longer available. But you can watch me unbox them and I can show you the awesome items that you could have got in the past. <laughs> um, awesome items, for example, this t shirt, this long sleeve t shirt, Walking Dead, Shona, and the two walkers in the pocket. This was one of the items from last month's box. Wasn't my favourite item. My favourite item from last month's box, for those of you who are guessing, Shadow J Shadow Jagu. Shadow Jagu. Hard to pronounce that. Shadow Jagu from Killer Instincts. This figure is just absolutely amazing. I love the detail on it. Uh, that was last month's. Fingers crossed, click crates are going to go out with a big bang and give us an awesome box full of goodies. Well, let's get on with the unboxing. Now, there won't be a referral link in the description down below for this, but I will do a few affiliate links for any of the items, so you might still be able to get hold of the items from somewhere. And have a look. But, to open this up, we need the Dragon Sword. Mm. Once we open it up, this is what we're going to see. Ooh, does it look good? Is it a good crate? All I can see is a t shirt on top. Let's see what the t shirt is. Oh, I'm assuming it's Stark Industries. I haven't got Stark Industries on, so I don't think, so that's nice. Yeah. Stark Industries. Stark Motor Racing. I love what it says there. What's at the bottom there? Marvel. It's an official t-shirt, is it? No, nope. Fruit Loom. It doesn't say it's official t-shirt, but it's a nice t-shirt. I do like that. I will definitely wear that. But let's see what awesome items we got. Wow. There's a big item here. It's a Q-Fig. It's one I haven't got. One I'm glad to receive. Ooh, Harley Quinn. I was a little bit thrown back then because if you look inside, the Q fig. What I saw was this. And I was like, ooh, that's Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. But it's not the Suicide Squad. It's this one we got. <laughs> this one is just a false picture on the background showing you what you could have got. <laughs> um, oh, I see. Loot Crate exclusive. So maybe the fact that she's in a classic Jester comic outfit is Loot Crate exclusive. Uh, Let's get this out of the box. See what it's like out of the box. 
man out of the box. Comes with this little flag, like most Q-figs seem to come, that goes on the base. I can never get them in the base. I feel like I'm going to snap the flags just because they uh, bend when I'm trying to push them in. I'm, oh, bah, I'm a bit too heavy handed. I'm not delicate enough. I just can't do it. They look nice, but no good to me because I can't get them on the base. <laughs> but this is a nice looking figure. Oh, well, that's loose. I thought it would have been attached to her hands. The giant mallet is loose. Is it supposed to be? That's strange. How does that look like it's supposed to hold it? Now, there's a little closer-up version of it, so you can see. I'll explain that this mallet is loose. I thought it would have been all one piece. That is a really nice item, though. I do love Q-Figs. They do capture some great poses on their models, and that's what I like about these. But, let's see what else we got. Okay. So, Transformers. More than meets the eye. Series 1. This looks familiar. I'm not sure if I've received one of these before or not. Uh, I'm not really into the Transform movies. I did like Transformers cartoon as a child, as a child, <laughs> when I was younger. But, oh. Let's see what's in this bag. In this bag, it's a blind bag. So I got Thundercracker. Got this guy. Very blocky model. Does he moves? His arms move. But 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 his legs, his body. A bit of movement, and I also got this packet, which has got like some sort of cheap blocky gun, and I assume it's wings that go on the back. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's put the wings on it. See what it looks like with the wings on it. So, with the wings on, and the gun in his hand. That was very difficult to get the gun in his hand. It doesn't go in there very well, and it's just going to fall out again. I think. Uh, that's the wings on his back. It's a uh, okay item. It's not really something I would go out my way to buy. A little bit of a cheap item for me. And it looks like I've got another one. One from Series 2. I'm probably not even going to open this one. I can see what they look like. I'll probably just sell this one on eBay or something because I'm sure there's someone out there who will like this. Uh, Thrust, Ramjet, Shrapnel, Slag, lots of different ones. Shockwave, Mirage, Prowl, Sideswipe. Lots of different Transformers that you can get. I'm oh, just a bit... Hmm. The Loyal Subjects. What's energies? Not really something I'm into, into really. So, uh, let's say very blocky they are. And very... I don't really like the look of them. To be honest with you. Maybe if it's a different franchise I might like it more, but... I can't see that. Uh, there is some more items in here, thankfully. Let's see what we got. Ooh, got a big, big book. Watchmen. Alan Moore, Dave Gibbons. Look at this. And it's not just a little one. This is a full on. Oh, I like this. Big book. Lots of comics in there to read. And you can't see that because of how shiny it is. That says £17.99. pence. I could believe it, to be honest with you. The uh, printing price is $19.99. So I could believe that would be expensive to buy. That is a really nice item to end with. And there's one more item in here. Another book. Ooh. I've seen some of this, and this, as you say, this is a Loot Crate Edition, World of Warcraft, the official cookbook. I love Warcraft. I love eating. Not, I, I, I do cook. I'm, I'm okay at cooking. I wouldn't say I love cooking, but I do love eating. I do love Warcraft. 
So this is a load of Warcraft inspired dishes. Let me tell you something. Loot Crate Edition. Loot Crate Edition to any book means they've taken a thick volume book and they've selected certain pages and certain recipes that they like and they've put it into one condensed small book. So you don't get the full book. You just get like a sample from the book. But this does look good. Fry bread. Dragon breath chili. No, I'm having tonight. Westfall stew. Ooh. This dirge is kicking chimmer up chimmerock chops. Okay. I'm getting hungry reading through this and they've got desserts. Bloodberry tart. Conjured mana buns. Ooh. Yeah, this is a really nice item. I really like this because a bit geeky like that. I do really like that. But let's have a quick recap so we can see what we've got in this box. Stark Motor Racing Stark Industries t-shirt. Watchman book. I just read the back of it. I should have really read the back when I first got out to see. So this is a recolored high quality edition of page found in Watchmen the Absolute Edition with sketches, never foreseen extra bonus material and a new introduction by Dave Gibbons. So, hmm, that sounds good. Harley Quinn. Qfic. Transformers. Series 1. The Loyal Subjects. Transformers Season 2. The Loyal Subjects. One of these blind boxes. World of Warcraft. The Cookbook. That is a really good box to go out on. They've done some. They've done some. They've sent some really nice items. I like the Watchman. That's a really nice edition. That is. Doesn't want to stand up. Just don't fall over. <laughs> I really like that. I think my favourite item from this box is actually going to be the World of Warcraft, the official cookbook. Even though it is the Loot Crate edition, which means it's not the full cookbook, it's just some of their selections they've chose. I really like this, and I'm really excited to actually try and cook some of these things. I know they're not really from World of Warcraft, they've just got the ideas from World of Warcraft and are making it match. But, it makes it more interesting for me. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what that tastes like. I do like Qfig. Qfig is awesome. I just wish the Qfig was the one that they shown me on the back of the box. Because that's the Qfig I wanted. But I kind of want them both. They are good. But this is the last ever click crates. Let me know, guys, what your favourite item is. Let me know your experience of click crates. Did you like click crates? Did you not like click crates? Click crates. I can't even say the name. It brings too many painful memories of them leaving. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it. If you are new here and you want to see more unboxing videos or general geeky videos by me why not subscribe down below and whilst you're there smash that bell icon to be notified each and every time I upload. I'm Geeky Heaven. Until next time dudes. Take care. Bye.